take me back to the the first game. Obviously, Miles Morales wasn't such a well-known household name until Into the Spider-Verse came out the later in that year. That must have been like when that came out, you were like, this character's gonna blow up now for the next game. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely saw the, the the uprising of Miles and also um the behind the scenes uprising as well, too, because you know the public wasn't wasn't fully aware of of the Spider-Verse and also just what was what was to come in the Spider-Man game introducing Miles. So when, you know, I have little cousins and and and, and little baby, you know, sisters and brothers that were like playing the game, like, oh, that's that's Miles, that's Miles. And then when they found out that Miles has his own game, they they flipped. So just watching, just watching the uh, the really the before and after, you know, being Miles with the first game and and just learning learning the the beginning stages of where you know Insomniac wanted to take Miles and 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 wanted to you know present him as. So with that being said, man, I was doing the cartoon as well on uh, Disney XD, you know, so I was I was doing. Uh, miles for the game and the cartoon as well so you know just having miles engulfed in me so much you know seeing his growth and you know he's still growing you know he's only you know he's only the first first miles game so you know it's you know he's still growing as 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 a, as a young man so it, it was crazy just just to see his growth and his uprising in the public and you know people were dying people were you know dying to see that you know, that uh, he has his own game and that we're finding out about, you know, about his life and his background and his culture, you know, so it was just, it's going to be crazy, man. The first game you were Miles and now the second game you are a year later, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, right? Like, uh, <laughs> talk about that transition. Did you change your approach in any way? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because starting off with Miles, I wanted to just get, uh, just, just get his genuine personality, just, just the, you know, the, the innocence about him first. So it wasn't about jumping into it and being a Superman, a, a Spider-Man. You know, it, it wasn't just jumping into it and being a hero. It was jumping into it and learning this 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 young man and and our connection, you know, between each other. So learning that and then growing, just being the, the innocence and and the youth. Because in the Disney XD cartoon, he's I want to say 13, 14. and in the game, you know, he's a little older, 16, 17. So just having those, having those different, you know what I mean? Going back and forth between the sessions, toning down the, 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 you know, the manliness growing into Miles and then coming into the booth and then doing the kid voice of Miles, you know, it was, it's a trip, man. It's, it's, it's a huge trip, but it also helped a lot because it kind of put me in that mind state of when he is Spider-Man, when he is owning up to fighting the villains and, and he is a different person. He's not that kid anymore. He's that, He's that man. He's that fighting that, you know what I mean? He's that leader. So it was it was a great transition, but I also needed it to just just to blend everything well together. You know what I mean? To make it human, if that makes sense, to make it just human and and, and natural and organic. So, yeah, when I first went into Miles, I wanted just to learn just the innocence about him, the pureness about him. And then, you know, growing into that, he's smart. He's a genius. He's a he's a straight A student. Like, dude, is smart. You know what I mean? So learning that first and getting in tune with that. And then when the, you know, when the superhero kicked in and it was like a whole other you know, notch kind of stepped in, you know, then I kind of put myself in there too. You know what I mean? It was like, all right, cool. That was really the transition. Yeah, man. It was, it was amazing though. I still love it. I love it. To death. I was curious uh, at what point in the process when you're working on the last game, were they like, Hey, do you want to do you want your own game? Like, what was that conversation like? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question. That's a great question. It was actually, man. The launch, the launch we had for the first game. Um, I don't know if you all saw the launch, but it was me, Yuri, uh, Brian Int uh, Intar, and uh, and uh, Mr. Negative, and Black Widow, and it was our it was our first launch for the first game. And then Brian, um, you know, who was our creative director for that one, he took me aside and he uh, he was like, "Hey, man, how do you feel about you know having your own game and having you know making Miles his own thing?" And I was like. I'm ready. <laughs> he was like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. But I had to, I had to take care of some, you know, business side and, and and business stuff on the side. So I told him like, yeah, I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Just, I'm, I'm gonna let you know when you know everything is is set in stone and ready to go. Would you go over to Yuri and you're like, oh, sorry, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Me and Yuri, man. I was like, Yuri, you have to let me know how many sessions. They're about to be and how many, you know, how much work did you put in? Like, cause I'm telling you, it was so many aspects that we had to learn. Like Yuri had to teach me how to swing in the booth. 
because you know Miles wasn't swinging in the first game. So Yuri taught me what he did. What what what, what he oh, did. Oh, while you're doing your lines. Yeah, while you're doing the lines, you know. What I mean? So you know, swinging and doing the lines. Yuri taught me that, and he taught me, you know, just it's all about the core. It's all about the, <laughs> moving, moving the core and moving, <laughs> getting uh, getting all this, <laughs> getting all this flowing and stuff. So it was it was hilarious because we went through so many went through so many phases of of knowing what a good swing sounds like in the booth. And that's when, you know, Yuri really, really helped me out a lot, man. And, you know, I, I thank him to this day. So you he know? really was your mentor, just like Peter was. We remember we had, had him come in and we did it sort of a session about like, you know, we, we all sat together, me, you, Brian and Yuri. Yeah. And then we got, got Naji, um, his own Miles Morales gloves, with silly string. And then he just sprayed <laughs> everyone in the whole, in the whole. Yeah. That's what it's like. It was like, when... it's like we had Yuri give him the gift just like he did in the game. <laughs> and the gift with these silly string Miles Morales things, it was it was a fun time. Yeah, it was it was great. That's when we uh we had literally had all the cast together. We had finally got all the cast together, and we were just really ready to go into the sessions and just make it ours, you know. And then that that just being that where you know Yuri coming in and and just doing all that, it just made everything just come in together. Where it was like, okay, we're ready to do this. We're ready, you know. And Yuri, Yuri, you know, I, I text him to this day, call him. He texted me last week, checking in on my family. So me and Yuri, man, like, I love him to death, man. Me and Yuri is, you know, like this in real life. In real life, too. Not just, you know, for the cameras and stuff. Like, seriously. <laughs> seriously, like, people know that, too. Like, people know me and Yuri have, like, such a really good relationship off camera, too. It's that's ridiculous. Great. That's, that's great. Did you guys do any motion capture? And, like, did you guys oh, finish, yeah. finish production before the world kind of fell apart with, with COVID and everything? Like, what was that process like? <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. not... Yeah. Nanji and we shot for about um, close to like a year and a half, I think, is what we had uh, in, in shooting. I think that's about right, Naj. It's um, like, yeah, like a year and a half, too. Yeah, a year and a half, too. Yeah. We were doing VO all the way through, right? So we did a tremendous amount of VO towards the end, but we got most of the, um, uh, the, mo- the, the performance capture done before the, the COVID hit. And that was, that was great. So we got most of, thank um, God. Yeah, full performance on there. But there was a couple of reshoots that we had to do, and uh, Naj did fantastic VO, and we had other actors that were up in Canada just to be able to perform that because we just had to get new scenes created. But I would say 99% of what you see in there is going to be Naj and then the stunt act, the talented stunt actors that work with him. And we try to give Naj as much Spider-Man stuff as possible. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, man. I tell him, tell him, tell him the, all the Dude. actual blood, sweat, and tears. All of and it. The puke. Like, oh my all gosh. The- <laughs> he, he he practiced. We had a we had a spider. We had the we had the mocap uh, actors come in who are stunt doubles, and we did actually a Spider Man training session on how to pose, how to get all those iconic Spider Man poses. And Naji did the work. He came in, he worked on it, and and his his vertical is insane. Like. Every time he had to jump out of the volume, it was like, Naji, hold on, don't, don't get hurt. <laughs> I mean, he was really, he was method Miles Morales in, <laughs> on the stage. Curious, too, like, do you already speak Spanish? Because I know what uh, Miles does. Or did you have to do anything to, like, study up on that side of his, his background? Yes, yes, yes. We actually had uh, a, a, few, a few sessions, a few coaching sessions uh, just to get the dialogue down because – you know he's uh, New Yorkian, so it's uh, it's it's a it's a mix between uh, Puerto Rican and you know just a, a New York dialect too as well. So just learning learning Spanish, you know, in general wasn't well. Of course, I took Spanish in high school, but that was just regular Spanish, and you know I didn't pass. But 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 that's a different story. You know, that's, a, that's a, <laughs> a whole different story. So with this one, it was Puerto Rican and. Um, and yeah, so it it was a little different. Our uh, engineer, um, he was uh, uh, La- he was a Latina descent as well. So he told me the differences between of having just regular, you know, Mexican Spanish and then Puerto Rican Spanish. And he said it's a difference. So we had to go through a whole, you know, uh, uh, you know, training session of learning the different um, dialects with that as well. But yeah, yeah, yeah we, and we had a consult and we had a co- consultant as well who is yeah. You know, Puerto Rican descent that working with Naji too. So, so it was like, let's, let's make sure we get it right. You know, and Naji did the work to, to make sure that we got that as much authenticity as we possibly could um, on, on the Puerto Rican Spanish. Naji, you need to take the game to your Spanish teacher and be like, look, I know. you did all right. Can I get a passing grade? <laughs> it was so crazy. I was homeschooled. I was homeschooled since like fourth grade. So it wasn't even like, <laughs> it wasn't even the best like Spanish classes. We was literally online 
and doing everything with through like Rosetta Stone. So it was, you know, I yeah. I, I want to take it again. I want to take it again because <laughs> I'm a little more fluent now, you know, <laughs> a little more, you know. Yeah, I think so. And we talked about it a little bit earlier, but like I think Miles rightfully is finally getting his day in the in the sun, and. I think this game is is a huge part of that of pushing him even further into the cultural zeitgeist. Najee, do you yeah. think about that? And like, you know, do you think about the impact you're making with with Miles in that regard? Oh man, definitely, man. I mean, it's it's to a, a point where it gets me lost for words because it's so overwhelming. But at the same time, it's like, man, this is this is really what kids need like the the new generation coming up with everything that's going on in america right now they don't know they don't they don't they don't fully understand you know what i mean what like what what it is so that's my thing it's like for this new generation that's coming up and 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 the seeing the 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 younger kids that i have under me like my my little cousins and my friends little brothers and sisters i have a little niece you know the you know just for them seeing it it it, it is it's it gets you speechless because it, it tells you like, okay, this is what we didn't have growing up. You know, we only saw, you know, a few here and there, but for young little boys, you know, that, that growing up and they look like miles and they want to, you know what I mean? It means a lot, man. Like it means a lot because it's so much crap going on in the world right now, man, for us. And it's just like, we need that, that balance to, to, you know, for the, especially for the kids, man, just to make sure everything is going to be all right. They're, they're, they're not scared. They're not hopeless. You know what I mean? None of that. But also, too, with the different cultures that we're hitting in this game and also the different aspects that we're hitting, we're, we have so many things, so many things that are going to surprise people that we brought to the game. And, and it's so many, like, crowds. I'm telling you, I don't, I'm watching what I'm saying, but, like, you're doing a great it. job, Najee. <laughs> you'll get it. You'll get it. Like, we have so many aspects and areas that we're hitting that so many people are going to, you know, feel related to and and and. They're, they're going to be very pleased that we, we touch these subjects. 